Howdy guys, it's Nate. Um, just going to do another video walkthrough. This time I'm going to show you guys how to set up uh, your Google Calendar to work in iCal. If you're a Mac user, uh, iCal is a built-in program that they've included to help you keep your schedule straight and uh, helps you keep a, an offline copy of all your Google Calendar stuff. Uh, at this point, uh, in order to follow this walkthrough, you should already have a, a Google account. Um, and the Google Calendar set up, which I did in the previous video. Um, if you're having any problems with that, uh, either rewatch the video or, or let us know and we'll get you set up. But um, you do need to have the, the curricular calendars and everything set up with your Google account in order for this video to be of any use. So, uh, and Just like last time, I have it set up so it'll make a, a noise and giving, give you a little uh, indicator like that whenever I click on something, uh, which should hopefully make everything a little easier to follow. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start up iCal, uh, which you can do by going up into your spotlight and type in iCal uh, and click on iCal.app. Um, should launch your iCal. Uh, yours probably won't be as busy as mine is already because I already have a bunch of stuff added. But um, go into iCal up here in the corner. You can go to Preferences. And you want to click on Accounts. Uh, next, you'll click the little plus button. Here, when asked for your account type, go ahead and go to Google, and you'll type in the email address that you've used to set up your Google account. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use the example account. Use the password that uh, that you've set up in association with the Google account. Um, remember that might be different than the one that's it's actually in association with the email address that you're using to log in. That's the the Google one. Um, go ahead and click create, and there we go. You'll see it pops up right over here. And you can click on it, and then go over to delegation, and select the calendars that you want to come uh, onto your iCal. So in this case, we've got the curricular calendar. And then we've got the events calendar, and you can also select uh, holidays if you want. And just click the X, and you're all done. Uh, there they are. They're, they're all syncing up. Uh, now, some of you with older versions of Mac or, or different versions of iCal might have an, an issue where you need to input a, uh, a server. It's going to have in the block for adding a new calendar, something about a server down here somewhere in this general area. Um, if that's the case, uh, we're going to need to do is uh, go get this little address that I've uh, that I've included with the blog post, um, or you can just copy it as is, and then you're going to need to type that or, or copy and paste it into that server box, um, and then here where it says example at gmail.com go ahead and put in your actual uh, Google account whatever Google account you're using so in this case it'd be unmsom.fake.1234 at hotmail.com I uh, and then use that as your server setting and that should make everything work out so uh, again if you guys have any problems uh, let us know and we'll be happy to help thanks for your attention bye bye